Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about a very, very simple trendline strategy that you guys can do for your swing trades. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you guys want to learn more about swing trading and trading in general, I would highly recommend going on and checking out my swing trading school where you guys can learn how to find these stocks and opportunities, my strategies, my mindset, all that stuff. We have private live streams. We have a group chat, quizzes, lectures. It's absolutely fantastic for people that want to learn to trade. So check it out. And for this week only, you guys can use code half off, all caps, half off to get 50% off. After that, it's going up in price. So make sure you guys check it out now. But guys, let's uh, jump into this here. So with swing trading, how do you do it and what do I do? So one of the more important things when it comes to swing trading in general is using trend lines. So trend lines are pretty much uh, lines that a lot of traders, hedge funds use to determine good points of entry. Now this recent trend line and uh, strategy that I've used has pretty much done very, very, very well for me. So what we wanna look for is a stock that is on some sort of upward trend that has kind of has had at least three touch points on this line. So let's go ahead and look at a trade ticker symbol ET. This was a more recent one that we've done here. And so what we want to look for is a stock that has at least three touch points. So you guys can see with this more recent trade here, you guys can see it hits it once, twice, three times. That's really what we look for and four times, each and every time getting good buying pressure there, right? Establishing a nice upward trend. But what happens when things get, you know, go up? Well, nothing goes up forever. We get something called a trend line breakdown. And that's kind of what we've seen here. You guys can see where the stock has gone from 15 all or pretty much 16 all the way down to as low as about 1508 to about $15. Now, this is a trade that we recently took here. And what you do about this here is you short this position. So shorting is pretty much betting for the stock to go down in price. Because what we're looking for is a breakdown of this trend. So what you would do is you hop in with your short near and around here because of that trend line break. You guys can see here, once it slowly started moving its way down. And now what you do is as you're shorting this, you're moving your stop loss down and down and down. So now your stop loss here, we recently got stopped out here near and around 15, 14, but it was still a fantastic trade here. You guys can see hopping in here, setting your stop loss just below this trend, because if we do get buying pressure, you understand that it could ride that trend and it's just better always to cut your profits uh, or cut your losses a little early here. So you guys can see we're risking $1 to make $3.33. On top of that, this was a target of about 5% with a stop of about 1.5%. I do wanna show you guys another one here so you guys can see an example just on the opposite side of this because with trends is this is something that a lot of people don't really realize is you can do it both shorting and going long on a position. So with ticker symbol AMD here, what we wanna look for, instead of a stock on an upward trend, you wanna stock on a downward trend trend. So you guys can see that the stock has had this nice downward trend here. We can adjust it here. Boom, boom. So establishing at least three touch points, right? One, two, three. And then recently, this is where you enter this trade. So you hop in near and around 108 to 110. On top of that, you set your stop just below that trend. So you guys can see you're hopping in here, you're setting your stop loss just below it here. Do, do, let's zoom in a little so we can see it a little clearer because this is, let's just redo it because for some reason it didn't. There we go. So you're setting your stop loss just below this trend and your target price is gonna be something that we look for a trailing 
stop loss. So we're moving our stop loss up and up and up. And you guys could see we probably get stopped out near and around here where this dips down. You guys can see this dip down where it closed below that candle. So it'd be about a 17% return. And you guys could see this nice amount of growth. On top of that, we're slowly seeing another play right here with a very, very similar thing where it has at least two touch points with this time. So we would need one more before we enter, but this is still a stock here that is right on watch. And I definitely would recommend doing and practicing this basic uh, trend line strategy. And the more you guys do it, the more opportunities you guys will play or you know face here. So look at this one here with at least three touch points, boom, 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 entering the short here taking profit at a moving average line. It's a very, very basic strategy that you guys could do with just trend lines and hopping in on a short or long position. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, by all means, ask down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.